Hi everyone, it's Rick here from The Game Creators. Today I'm going to show you a really cool feature called Code Properties. It's very innovative, it's new to the world of App Game Kit. Let me show you what it's all about. So here we've got a very small program. All it does is load in a sprite image and display it there. So what I can do before we actually load that in is using uh, a special hidden code called IDE GUIA add comma. Now notice over here on the right code properties appears. What we can do is create a header. We call this a sprite demo. It makes sense in a moment. What I'm going to do is just copy that because I need to use that a number of times. You can add a message into your properties area. And we can also have a separator like that. So, okay, what does all this mean? We've got some text, created a header, some information. Well, what we can do, using globals, has to be a global. Taking a value, we're calling sprite x, making it 200. And then using IDE GUI add, we're going to tell the system that this is an integer. And you can see it's appeared here now. And we can give it a description. It's a sprite x position. There we are. We can do that. Copy that again. Do it this time. Do it for y. Bring that a different value. Okay. And why not do one called scale? And this time make it a float. Like so. Now that value needs to be a lot lower than that. Okay. Now going down to the code, uh, to the do loop, what we're going to do is set the sprite position, sprite number one, using these values, sprite x and sprite y. Okay. Another line, set sprite scale. Remember it's a float value. Uh, so we do the scale of the sprite in the X and the Y, like so. Using debug mode, we can run the app. There we have the logo we've loaded in. But with these values, we can actually change the position of the sprite and we can change the scale. We just type in a number if we wish, like so. And what's really cool is let's say that's where exactly where we wanted it in our application. When we quit, these values are then placed into our code. So you can use these properties in key areas of your project to position things, to scale things, for whatever reason you want. And these properties always appear. As long as you've got these descriptors within your source code, you'll always have these properties appearing here. Let's jump over to another project, which has got many more properties exposed over here. You can see all the commands here that are taking these values and exposing them over here. Let's just run this one. This project loads a 3D object and scales it in and out of the screen. Now it's clearly got the wrong texture on it. We've got some file settings here that have been exposed and we want to change the image. We just click there and we can see there's lots of textures here. This is from a game from our road signs game on our driving test app. And there we are. The object has been textured with the correct image. Other things we can change are the background colour. Make it red. Remember, these values are updating 
in the IDE as well. So if we go to the bit of code that's doing that, there we are, we can see them here. These three colour codes here are updating. Just get it spot on. Rather than guessing in code, you can do it right here. Very simple, very easy, and it's remembered. We've got this bounce value, so we increase that. It's bouncing more. Oh, it's gone crazy now. 200. That's too much. Down to 20. Um, there's fog levels. There's camera zoom. There we are. Zoom in the camera. Fog range. Let's bring that in a bit. Right back down there. You can see the fog coming in now. You can adjust the colour of the fog. This value here. Make it very red. You can see the hint of red on it. And that's code properties. I think you're going to absolutely love this feature. It's quite innovative. We thank Preben for this innovation as he continues to make the IDE probably the most exciting part of AppGame Kit Studio so far. Remember that if you order in March, AppGame Kit Studio is 50% off discount, so it's the best time to buy now. You get the downloads, you get the bills as we release them. Thank you to everyone that's ordered so far. It's been great to see the excitement and feedback, and we're going to bring you a wonderful product in June. Okay, bye for now.